Hey you guys, I kind of realized that I didn't record this 2010 Emerson catalog and I don't think there's any of them online. So here we are. I figured this would be another good one for me to record and show you guys. I consider this to be the last year of classic Emerson with a lot of the cool older designs before they went via the newer way, which wasn't horrible. I just prefer the older way much better. I actually got this catalog shipped in from a showroom out in... Uh, I don't even remember where. <laughs> yeah, I called all the showrooms in the country uh, during the pandemic year. Everybody was stuck at home and these businesses were open. They just had people answering from home or appointments in showrooms. So I could just call all the showrooms easily and they'd have time to go check the back for catalogs for me. And I got pretty lucky with some of it. So anyways... For a while, this was my oldest Emerson catalog, so I liked looking through it quite a bit. Because old Emerson is just amazing. So starting up, we have the transitional line. We've got the St. Croix series. This is the actual St. Croix here, the double fan. Then we have the Corsair, which I believe um, earlier runs of these were recalled for the blade falling. And then we've got the Camden. Next up, we've got the Carrera Grande. And then also the Carrera Bella. Yeah, that's right. Back in these days, the Bella and the Veranda were called the... They had Carrera in front of it. If you couldn't tell by how similar they were, they were designed to be sort of coordinating fans. Then we've got the Athenian and the Paris style. And yes, that is a renamed Kitchler thing. Here we've got the Maya Zen and the accessory lights that they also had with it. I can imagine those were expensive. Here we've got the Mariel and the Spanish Bay, which is basically just a Monterey with a light kit. Kind of an interesting choice to give that fan that type of light kit. I mean, it doesn't look horrible. I like it. But still. Well, see, they did move it to transitional. It used to be in the contemporary section. You can make the fan look a little more traditional, but this is definitely more of a... It, I can see why they'd call it transitional, honestly. Here we've got the contemporary fans. We've got the Curve of Sky. And then the regular Curva. These are actually pretty decent fans. And then we've got the Tylo, Tilo. I'm not actually 100% sure how you say it. Then we've got the Midway Eco. Interesting enough, I don't remember when they manufactured the one I have. I could have sworn it was an earlier one. I think it might, it must have been from 2011 because mine does not have the sandstone glass with it. So it must have been made the year after this. Here we've got the Origami and the Loft. Here we've got the Tureen. We've got the High Point, the Atomical, then we have the Milano Vera and the Milano. These are actually some of my favorite Emersons. I don't real I don't know how many people are really familiar with this model. I love it though. And up next we've got the classic. It's like traditional, you know that sort of thing. Well, I should say really say ornate. We've got the Monaco and the Cornerstone. We've got the Crown and the, uh, the VN. We've got the Julianne and the Basque, both renamed Kitchlers. And the Zurich Luminaire and the Zurich. And then the Savannah. Now we've got Tommy Bahama fans. Whoopee. Let's see what they got here. We've got the Copa Breeze and the Cabana the Colonial Bay and the Prado, and the Paradise Key and the Bahama Breezes. Then here are the different accessories. And now we're moving on to traditional fans. We of course have the Premium and the Apollo. This was the last year for the Apollo. Rest in peace, one of my favorite Emersons. We've got the Designer Remote and the regular designer. You have the Northwind fans. 
And then we've got the Snuggers. I should say the Contemporary Snuggers, actually. No, they just called them Snuggers, that's right, because they got rid of the other ones. So in the indoor-outdoor section, we've got the Carrera Veranda, the Maui Bay, the Westfield and the Devonshire, the Mariel Portico and Sea Breeze. Got the Summer Night Fans. Oh, and you can tell here that they had to do a little bit of Photoshop work there to eliminate the light kit that was shown on that one. Yeah, Everston was another one of those that did a lot of Photoshopping with light kits. And it actually ruined a couple light kits for me that they introduced, I think, in 2012. I always thought they looked horrible, and then I realized, oh, they Photoshopped it. That's why it looks bad. Here's the Pro Series. The Pro Series ES. And the Pro Series 2. I can't remember if this was the year they renamed it or if it was the one before. Got the smaller Pro Series 2 and the Builder Unipack. The good old builder. And then the heat fans. Now we'll take a look at some accessories and things. We've got customizable bowl light kits here. Other light kits. More light kits. I always did kind of like these two. Other accessories here, like fitters and ceiling medallions. Shades. I'm not saying glass because two of those are very obviously not glass. We've got blades. And then the blade hole pattern guide. Controls. The controls guide. Finishes and things. Displays and merchandising. Then specifications. And then there's the back again. So yeah, once again, just thought you guys would like to see this one since I don't think it's on the internet anywhere. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.